Hey everyone, I'm not Dan, but in this video we are going to continue our investigation of water. It's... Welcome back. Just doing a little experiment here, and uh, as you can see, I still floats, which is a good thing. Life as we know it will continue to exist. Now, you might be wondering, um, why is this newsworthy? Well, and on, on one particular level, you're right, okay, it's not, because ice always floats, and this is just normal for us. But if you compare water to other substances, that's actually very strange. Think about it. You take any other substance, and you freeze it, and you put it solid into its own liquid, and what happens? it sinks. Water is one of the only substances where when you freeze it, its solid will float in its own liquid. Now, why does this happen? Okay, well for most solids, when you freeze it, the atoms, actually start, or molecules, come together. They get closer and closer, thus increasing the density of that substance, causing it to sink in its own liquid. But water, on the other hand, when you freeze it and those molecules try to come together, the hydrogen bonding that exists between the molecules actually prevents that from happening. And it leaves holes or gaps in the structure, thus increasing the volume, decreasing the density, and causing it to float. Now, why is this so important for life as we know it? Well, think about in wintertime, what happens to freshwater lakes? They freeze over, right? Why do they freeze over? Well, because the very top layer uh, of the water freezes into ice, and then because ice floats, it stays on top, thus preserving all the life in that freshwater lake, okay? So if it didn't happen like that, well, the ice would then sink to the bottom of the lake, leaving more water at the top exposed to the colder air, thus freezing that, it would sink, exposing more water, so on and so forth, until the cycle continued, until the whole entire lake would freeze over, thus killing off all life in that particular lake. And if that happened on a worldwide scale, well, there's enough freshwater life that would die out. And it maybe not wouldn't affect us immediately, but you know, the whole circle of life concept, right? Eventually it would lead to us. The whole food chain would, would collapse in on itself. And eventually, yeah, our life as we know it would cease to exist. So next time you, uh, Take a sip of water with that ice floating on the top. Say a quick little prayer of thanks that you're still alive. All right, so that's one property of, uh, of water. I got one more that I'd like to show you. So let's kind of zoom in here uh, to get a better look. All right, let's go. All right, so hopefully you guys can see this right here. Uh, I've got a penny with some water on top of it. Now this is a phenomenon known as surface tension. So what's happening here is that the, the hydrogen bonding that exists between all those water molecules is causing them to be so attracted to each other that they are sticking together and it creates this little dome shape right on top of the penny. Now anyone who has ever done a belly flop into a swimming pool knows what I'm talking about when I say that the surface tension of the water is actually very strong. You have to break through that surface tension before you can actually get into the water. In fact, it's so strong that if you were to fall from a couple stories up, hitting water is pretty much the same as hitting concrete, okay? It is a very strong force, and again, it reinforces how strong hydrogen bonding is, that strong force that, that, um, that pulls all the water molecules together. Okay, so there you go, two separate properties of water. Now obviously there's a lot more that we could go into detail on, um, but there's really no need. I think you guys get the point.
All right, if you guys have any, uh, any other questions, please be sure to comment below. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to watch. And remember, I'm not Dan, and neither are you. Check you later. Waiting on a train. It's not the same. Waiting on a train. I'm not the one to.